You know, kid, I've been a friend of your family's for quite some time. When your father asked me to personally find the truth about what happened, I made it my mission to get to the bottom of this case. Except, you see, therein lies my problem. That bottom lies right below the top. There's not a lot in here suggesting that you did not do this. Oh, I'm sorry. I usually do. Did you have to be somewhere? <laughs> I didn't do it. What's that? I didn't kill her, man. Really? Then you're going to need a better alibi. Because what's in here... It's not so good. I, I told him where I was. You did. I can see that, except for one problem. You weren't with anyone. And you see, if you're not with anyone, that's not a legitimate alibi as far as the state's concerned. We know you used to beat her. Your parents had no idea, but we knew. You couldn't take it, could you? The restraining order. The thought of her being with another man? No. You see, it picks at you. And it picks. So you know what you did? You got in your car. You drove to her house. And you waited. It's all right here, kid. We got the evidence. It's all right here. The blood, the boots, the knife, and they all point right back at I, I didn't do it. Someone's trying to frame me. Wake up, kid. Wake up. That may be a camera over there, but this is not the movies. This is real. This is life, and this is death. Own up to it. Think about your mother. We both know she doesn't have much time left. Do you really want that woman to leave this earth with so many unanswered questions? You're going to do. You're going to sign this 